So Gary, welcome to the club. Can I just sum up how you're feeling at the minute to have this deal over the line? Yeah, thrilled. Um, all happened pretty quickly, really. Um, you know, heard of the interest not too long ago, and, and come down and met the manager, met the chairman, met met the, the relevant staff, and uh, you know, was shown around the place. Um, you know, spoke to the chairman and, and, and Kevin regarding the ambitions of the football club and, and what it's got planned. You know, not just for this season, but but going forward as well. Um, Seems a really exciting project and, and something that I, you know, I'm, I really want to want to get my teeth stuck into and, and, and you know want to be part of. What were the main things that really stood out for you when you had those conversations? I think it was it was always going to be a tough decision because I, I you know I'd been offered a contract at Hartlepool, which um, you know is obviously a few a few leagues uh, and levels above where where Cell Shields are at the moment. But um, just the the you know the the passion and, and the ambition of of you know, not not just not just the the, the staff, but um, you know, just the club as a whole. It, you know, it seems to it seems to be something that you know I'm really excited that I wanted to to be a part of and, and you know have an influence of, of over the next couple of years, hopefully. You've got a massive affinity with Hartlepool. I think three different spells at the club, mm. twice in a permanent deal and once on a loan basis as well. Was that a tough decision to make to to make that decision to leave them and come to this club? Huge, um, but I've you know I've. No, not just from from our first spell there. You know, over the last two and a half years since I've since I've been back, um, it's been really successful. You know, we I went there to try and get them out of the national league, and um, you know I was lucky enough to, to play a part in, in doing that in, in that season. So um, to to also you know go get the club back in, into into League Two was was massive for me. And uh, like I said, it was it was a tough decision. Um, you know, it, it it was it was you know shown on their part that, that they want to keep me around next season by by offering me a contract, but. I just felt, you know, it's, you know, I'm in the, it's no secret, I'm in the twilight years of my career now. But you know, I want, I want to, I want to end my career on on a, on a successful basis, and you know, if I can do that by helping South Shields climb climb the uh, climb the pyramid, if you like, then then you know, I'm, I'm all for that and, and really excited for it. And what do you think it says about this club that it's able to attract a player like yourself who's had the opportunity to stay at a football league club as well? Yeah, it's not just me. You know, I know there's, there's a couple of lads who signed before me who, who, who are really good players at, at levels above as well. So I know that I know the manager is is, is obviously um, still in the, in the in the process of recruiting other players as well. So it's exciting, you know, exciting for for the squad, exciting for the club, exciting for the fans, um, and and hopefully you know we can go one step further than. Than what the club has over, over the last couple of years, where, where they've obviously just missed out on on getting that promotion, which which they've probably deserved. You've alluded to the experience that you have already, a vast experience in the in the game. Is that something that you really look to add to the group next season? I hope so. Um, you know, like I said, I've played over seven hundred games in my career, and um, you know, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my football career so far, fifteen years, and um, you know, I could have had it easy and, and just stayed at Hartlepool. But like I said, I want to I want to finish my career. Um, you know, be, being successful and, and helping another football club, and um, you know, South Shields, it's 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 a, it's a good football club. It's it's an ambitious football club with ambitious owners, an ambitious manager, and you know, I, I'm I'm thrilled that I can be a part of of helping the drive to 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 have that success. For anyone who might not have seen too much of you play in the mm. past, how would you describe yourself as a player for the fans? Um, I, I like to, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a footballer. You know, I like to like to get the ball on the ground, but I'm also you know, I, I've played in, in the low levels of, of league football, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm wary of what needs to be done to, to win a football match. You know, I'm, you know, I haven't been to, to probably any grounds at the, in this league, and you know, I'm probably quite certain in saying that you know some of them probably aren't aren't the best, and and, and that's with the football pitch as well. So there's different different ways to skin a cat, as they say, and different ways to win a football match. So um, you know, all those traits, you know, I'd like to think I'd like to think I can bring to the team. That element of things, that the fact that it's very new for you, is that an added motiva- motivation for you as well? That you're going to be learning new things, I guess, every week in, in new sort of environments. Definitely, um, you know, like you say, it's it's you know I've spent all my career in in leagues one and league two, so it will be different. But I'm I'm you know looking forward to testing myself. You know, I'd like to think um, I'd be able to handle it. Um, and no, I'd like to think that my experience can can help the the young lads and, and the other lads that are already in the squad. You had quite a young squad last season. I'm sure a lot of those players will still mm. be very much involved in, in next season. Just missed out on promotion last season as well. So do you think the experience, like the likes of yourself and some of the other lads that we're bringing in, will be a really important sort of addition to the group? I hope so. Um, you know, I spoke to the manager and he, he just alluded to, to the fact that you know there was games last season where where they were probably lacking that little bit of know-how, if you like, in terms of knowing when it, when a game 
a game, you know, tactically a game needs to change, and it doesn't always have to come from the staff. You know, it needs to come from from players on the pitch, which which maybe they didn't quite have enough of last season. So, you know, I'm hoping I can bring that. I'm hoping you know the lads who the, the lads have signed, and even other lads who are here at the moment. You know, that they, I can help them. You know, help bring them out in that as well. So. Um, no, all, all aspects of it. You know, I'm looking forward to and um, hoping I can I can be a big part of, of of the next couple of years. You've had a couple of chances to look around the facilities mm. here as well. What do you make of them? Great. Um, got shown around yesterday. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of investment gone into gone into the football club, both here and and going on at the training ground as well. So, no, it's 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 all you know boarding well going forward, and it, it just needs that that final push on on, on the actual on the green stuff and and getting getting to getting to where the club wants to be or getting to, to where the chairman and the manager wants it to be. So no, looking forward to it and, and looking forward to getting started and, and meeting the lads. Just finally, pre-season's only a few weeks away. How important is that period going to be, do you think, when you come back into the training and getting to know, to know the lads and really gearing up for the season? Yeah, it always is. Um, you know, it's, it, it's the same for any player going into a new football club. You know, you, you want get, to get to know everyone as quick as possible. You know, I'm, I'm not alien to everyone. There's lads who are in there. I know lads in there who I've played with. Um, so that'll help. But... No, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll all get along, and um, you know, pre-season, like you said, it's a big time, big time to, to a good time to, to get fit, good time to, to get the manager's ideas across, and, and, and you know, look ahead to, to the first game of the season.